From the throttle, C to shining C. We're a long ways from home. We're in New Jersey, South Jersey, not far from the Jersey Shore. And we find Mark Rosema. Mark built, this is your race shop. You're here just next to New Jersey Motorsports Park. Stones throw away across the airport there. And uh, we're gonna get a shop tour of the full service Mark built shop. Thank cool. you, Mark, for having us. Thanks for coming. Hope you got a nickel. I got a dime. <laughs> So uh, we're standing in, I guess, the engine room? Yes, this is our engine building room, and we also have our suspension service here set up as well. This is kind of our clean room. So we keep all that kind of stuff just specific to this room. And we've been here for a few days, so we've seen uh, Mike building engines. Tell mm -hmm. us, Mike, as he's uh, tearing engines, taking them out of the bike, tearing them down on the benches, putting them back together, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I mean, it's a full service shop, so we take the engines right out of the bikes into the engine room here, disassemble them, go through, obviously, inspect all the parts, rebuild them, replace anything damaged or worn, and uh, back in the bikes on the dyno, all set up and tuned so the customers can pick them up and uh, head to the track. A customer brought in a bike that was ailing, as bikes are wont to do. They are internal combustion engines. Things are exploding. <laughs> and here on this bench over here, we're just gonna go over here and look at this. We have some explosion, not the way it was supposed to explode. So yeah. I don't know if you can see it with the camera here, but this is a grenaded little unit. Yeah, this engine decided to uh, give itself a crankshaft and a connecting rod access port. Just so you could see in there. Just so you can see, just see how things are moving. A little cutaway thing. A little cutaway, yes. So uh, Makes tightening and torquing the rods real simple. And so you took it all apart and you have all these parts here and when the guy comes in, you can show him, hey, this is unfortunately. The yeah, like I everything. said, we tear everything down, do an inspection, we'll do an inventory of everything that needs to be ordered. You know, uh, we'll take digital photos of all the damaged parts in case the customer wants to see exactly mm -hmm. what happened and what was damaged and then, uh, start putting it back together. All right, on the other side of the wall, well, we can see the suspension bench here. We should talk about that. That's where you do all your uh, suspension. I see fork oil and all sorts of stuff there. Yep, that's our suspension service area. Uh, we can do shocks, forks, anything right there. Rebuild it, replace it, repair it, service it, you name it. A nifty little sink there, not for water. Nope, not for water, just for draining all the suspension fluids and washing everything down. All right then. So on the other side of this wall, then we will go into the chassis room. <laughs> yes, chassis room. All right, cameraman is focused. We're now in the chassis room. You have a couple of workbenches, bays here. You got plenty of room to do quite a few bikes. Yeah, Dave, we're just set up in here, basically three work bays. Uh, and then we have room to store and work on a few additional bikes. Um, we have uh, storage room off to the side for some small parts storage and then also in this room we have our tire machine and balancer and stuff to do uh, tire oh. service as well. If I'm here and I need tires put on, I can come here for of that. Of course, you can come here for everything. It's a full service race shop, Dave. Full service race shop. It was the USGPRU this weekend so there were people in here throwing things on and off of bikes. Yeah, and... we had a pretty full house over the weekend with yeah. the USGPRU event. Um, some longtime racers that we support have been uh, here kind of working on their stuff and getting things ready for the weekend. So uh, yeah, we were kind of tripping over each other for a little while this weekend, but it was fun to have the guys here and uh, we like it when everybody comes from the track and if they need a hand with whatever, we're here and help them out and support them, so. Talking about uh, racers, uh, we first met uh, all those many years ago uh, when you were crew chief in Chaz Davis for the, his first year here in America. Yeah, that's right. I think it was when uh, Chaz was here that we first met you. Yep. And then uh, last year it was Melissa Paris. Melissa Paris. Mm -hmm. And then this year it's Eric Stump, and he just got his first podium at the recent AMA around there in New Jersey. Yep. Eric Stump was able to put uh, our Mark Built Yamaha on the podium. He finished third here at the AMA event, injured. We, we yeah. were hoping to win the race if he wasn't injured, but he rode, uh, rode his heart out. I know he was in a lot of pain, and we're really proud of what he was able to accomplish. Okay, uh, then you have a dyno here, so we should probably go see the dyno. Sure. Well, there's a couple rooms kind of on the way to the on dyno. On the way so to the dyno. You tell me which direction Let's you want to go. Let's go. We'll go there and okay, we'll look at those go. rooms as we go. <laughs> this a la machine shop. Here we have <laughs> a Bridgeport milling machine. Very schwang. Very schwang. Very schwang. Awesome. World War II-ish. 
But they don't make them like this anymore. No, no, excellent equipment. It's nice to have a, a mill and a lathe and some grinding and sanding equipment here at the shop, drill, uh, drill press, and yeah. uh, we can, you know, like I said, we can do anything here. So to be able to machine small parts or modify things to make them fit, uh, you know, resurface damaged areas or things like that. We can do that all right here. It's just nice to do everything in house. Yeah, one of the uh, bikes, the GP bikes racing this weekend came over and he had a cracked uh, portion of his chassis mm -hmm. and Mike welded him up and mm -hmm. sent him on his way. And But Dave, you know that this isn't the welding room. This is the machine, machine shop. Okay, we'll okay. We'll go to the welding room next. I am not so good <laughs> with tools. Dave, this is our welding and fabrication room. Uh, we have, you know, band saws and other drill press, some more sanders, our heavy duty welders, uh, a table set up for welding. We have a, you know, positioner and all the stuff that goes with welding, our torch kit, and just everything we need to do uh, heating and bending and welding and, and fabrication type stuff gets done in this area. This is the room in which the chassis was welded. And then we see through there the dyno. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. I will go up the ramp, up the ramp of the dyno. Here I would sit on a bike, <laughs> touch the keyboards, and probably blow up a bike. Yeah, so this is our newly completed dyno room. Uh, I'm pretty happy with everything the way it came out. We, uh, we've been tuning bikes all week, as you know. And uh, it's been working out really well. It's finally, uh, the shop is to the point now where we have everything set up and, and running. And uh, it's, it's nice, as, as you know, we've been here about four months now and it's been uh, a lot of work getting everything finished up and, and ready for action. But we're here now and it's 100% and uh, things are cranking and we're happy to be all set and be here. Ready for you to show up. So here we are in the vast warehouse area, which is heated. Very important for people because, as you see behind me, a brilliant row of bikes. If I was from this part of the country, yes, and I Dave. frequented New Jersey Motorsports Park, I could bring my bike and simply leave it here. That's correct. As you know, we are not in California, so things do freeze here in the Northeast. So uh, we do have this climate controlled area. It's 3,000 square feet that we use for uh, storage for motorcycles and also some of our raw materials and stuff that we use uh, for fabrication and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, we do offer services for our customers where they can leave their motorcycles with us, uh, call us up ahead of time. We have everything ready for them. They pick it up or we deliver it to the racetrack for them to use. They'll use it for the day, the weekend, whatever the case may be. Drop the motorcycle back up, off to us when, it's all, when they're all done with it. We'll clean it, service it, store it, put it on trickle charger, whatever needs to be done so that it's ready for them for the next event that they show up at. Or if it's winter time, we'll store it you know, for the off months when, uh, when it's not in use and keep it nice and warm so nothing freezes up. For all us apartment dwellers that live in downtown, wherever it is up there, <laughs> where there's no, tr no, no grass, just concrete. Yeah, and you get no garage. That was the point of it. No, you garage, get no garage. Yeah, and as you know, uh, we're 45 minutes from Philadelphia and about an hour and a half to two hours from New York City. Um, we're about an hour and 45 minutes to DC. So we have three major metropolitan areas that uh, mm -hmm. that we service, being here at this racetrack. And uh, like you said, a lot of those people are city dwellers who don't have garages or very limited space to leave their motorcycles or trailers or, you know, all that kind of bulky items that they need to store that involved with racing and track days. And garages, and garages. if you don't have them. Uh, we are 1.2 miles. You can literally hear third call from yeah, our we parking did. lot. And Woke up this morning. And yeah, probably make probably it. Make it. <laughs> There's a, this is part of a, an industrial park attached to the little airport, and the track is then contiguous to the to the airport yep, on the yeah, other side. Yeah, the track of the and the uh, airport make up one tract of land, and then we are part of the airport industrial complex. Right. Yep. So there it is. Yeah, we woke up this morning to first call to something, and bikes whizzing around in the rain. So. I remember my first track day wondering what I would do 
I slept with my bike in the back of the truck and I got to the track and I was paranoid that I was gonna do it all right and would my tires have enough tread and oh my gosh and I spent this money and what if they turn me away? Ah! So if, you've, if it's your first track day and you're coming here, you could come here and, and get have you track prep the bike for me. Absolutely. Make sure I get it all right. Dave, it's one simple phone call and a big bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so poor now. <laughs> no, it's a small bag of money. But yeah, we can show you how simple and easy it is to get on the track for the first time and uh, make that first experience enjoyable for you. Tape up the lights and check your drain plug and you know, all those things. All those so things. all the funky things you can do with a mirror that you never thought you could do to the mirrors on a bike, <laughs> take care of you. Absolutely. You need gloves, you forgot your gloves, if you break your wheels or you didn't think to change your brake pads, you can swing on by and you're good to go. Yeah, Dave, being close to the track, we thought it would be a good idea to have um, the parts and accessories that normally you go through, crash damage stuff, brake pads, consumable items, uh, just to try to support all those people at the racetrack so if something does happen, they can finish out their day or uh, continue to ride the next day. Or if I was, say, not mindful and up to date or up to speed on what I needed to get for my bike and I woke up and thought, oh, I didn't order this. I could have it delivered here or see if you've got it Absolutely. on hand when I get here. Absolutely. So, yeah. And we also like carry idea. VP fuel, so if you run out of gas, <laughs> and you want we the are good, the area VP fuel dealer. You want the good stuff. <laughs> and of course we have to dyno tune your bike oh with the VP fuel. to get the most out of it. Don't forget about that. No, you? I would <laughs> never do that. Fuel mapping. It's the rage. Yes. Well, very cool. Well, thanks for uh, having us. We've been here for a week, sponging, sponging. off of the mark. And last but not least, uh, since you're here adjacent to the track, you can offer trackside services such as tuning, or if somebody wanted a full on, the full on gig, you could crew chief them for the day, but you offer trackside services like tuning and everything there? Yeah, Dave, I do um, suspension tuning for a lot of the track day companies, so I'm there most of the time when there's events going on. We're there at all the race events to give trackside support. We do have services for customers if they want to hire us in for the day to set up their bikes or work with them on even, even rider coaching and stuff like that. We have all that stuff available for our customers. Sort of a one-stop shop. One-stop shop.